Hi everyone, this is Chantal from Kaleidoscope Design Studios and today I'm going to be showing you how to use a FTP to upload um, your images and files to your website. Specifically we'll be using FileZilla. Um, you can get FileZilla from their website. I don't have it. I think it's FileZilla-Project.org. Uh, make sure you download the client version. Okay, and uh, I already have it on my desktop, so I'm going to open it up. Uh, now you'll have to log in with your hosting details, um, and you can get that from your hosting provider if you're not sure, but typically you would put your domain name in here. and your username and your password to your cPanel. Click Quick Connect and you should see uh, you're good to go when it says directory listing successful. And you'll see that the screen is split up into two portions. You've, on the, on the uh, left side, you've got all the files that are on your local computer and all the files that are on the right side is everything on your server. So today we're going to, I'm going to show you how to upload a couple of images and upload files with FileZilla and this is assuming you have some basic CSS and HTML knowledge and Firebug as well. Uh, if you're not familiar with those things, you can check out some of my tutorials on my website, kaleidoscopedesignstudios.com. So what we're going to be doing today <clears throat> is taking um, this website, which is a brand new WordPress site with the 2012 theme on it. It's right out of the box. There's nothing to it. And we're just going to change a couple things on it just for the sake of giving you practice uh, on FileZilla. So we'll be changing the background. Um, we'll be putting in a seamless background and we'll also um, change the, the color. So first thing we'll do is just experiment a little bit um, and we'll see if we can find a color that we like. For the background so you can just fire up your firebug I'm sure if you fuse firebug you know how to do that f12 on a on Windows and I'm just gonna click on the background and it will show up here the CSS element body background color and this is the color code that they're currently using so just for just to just to make a noticeable change we'll just see what a dark gray looks like so let's say we like that color so we'll change it we're gonna go to line that's annoying we're gonna go to line 1607 of our style css sheet um so what we'll do Oh, I don't have it up, so I'll just grab it from the editor here. Select all. And paste it in Notepad. I'm saving it to my desktop so I can transfer it when I need to. Um, I think I've got it. So, so yes. Okay. So we said that the background color was on sixteen line sixteen oh seven, and that's the great thing about Firebug. If you you're not sure how to use it, 
Um, like I said, the, I'll have some tutorials on my, my own website. But the cool thing is, is that you can make the changes on the site without actually doing it. You can see ahead of time what it's going to look like before you go through the trouble of uploading the files. But let's say that we do like this color and that's what we want to use and we want to change it. We're going to go to line 1607. So 1607. That was my dog who was being annoying. Okay, so 1607. And we'll change, make the color code change here, and we'll save that style sheet. Now they have media queries on here, and um, if, if you're not sure what those are, those, those all come into play for mobile responsive themes, but for the purpose of this tutorial, we won't worry about it because we're changing it for desktop where its minimum width is 960 pixels. So go ahead and save that file to your desktop. So now we've, we've, we've um, modified the, the CSS sheet. So now we can transfer it and officially make the changes. So right now, like I said, it's not changed yet because we haven't uploaded the file. So we're gonna go to FileZilla. Now and you're gonna go to the right side of FileZilla which is uh, which is where all your server files are located. Um, now I use HostGator and I'm assuming pretty much all hosting companies are, are, are similar. Um, for me, I click on public underscore HTML and you should see your website there. I've got lots here, so I'm just gonna pick the one that I'm working on. And WP dash content, double click that. Then you should see a themes folder, double click that. And then um, we're using the 2012 theme. So double click that. And this is where your style CSS sheet is, is, um, is at. So we need to override what currently is there. So, you're going to go to the left side of your screen now and find that. Now for me, I have it on my desktop. So, and here is the style sheet that I just modified. You can see I just did it just a few minutes ago, just a couple minutes ago, because it's, if you're never sure, um, you know, if you're not sure whether or not you have the right one, just look at the date and it'll give you a pretty good idea of whether or not that's the right one, but I know that's it. So I highlight it, right click on it, and click upload. And then it'll give me this message that the style CSS sheet already exists on the server side. Do I want to overwrite what's on this on the server side. So if, yes, I do. If I want to make the changes, I would click OK. So then to make sure that your changes have taken effect, you can go back to your website, click reload. And now you'll see that your color has officially been changed. So now just for the purpose of demonstrating how to upload an image, we're going to change the background it's no longer going to be gray. We're just we're going to change it to a seamless background. So I've picked a couple of different backgrounds to, to play with to see which one we like best. So first thing we want to do is you would save. You can find seamless backgrounds anywhere is online. Um, so save them to your desktop. Uh, in my case, I have two that I picked. I've got seamless background.jpg and the paper.jpg file. Um, now, we need to make sure that the, f the images go to the right folder. So uh, I'm going to reconnect here because it says disconnected from server. So I'm going to reconnect. Okay, so public underscore HTML, 
find your site. And WP-Content Themes, I'm on 2012. And there should be an Images folder. Okay, for some reason there's no Images folder in 2012, so we can just create one. If you don't have an Images folder, I suggest you do have one, so you have a spot where you can keep all your images together. So I'm just going to create directory images and there it is right there so what I want to do is upload go into your images folder you won't see anything in there but we're going to be transferring a couple of images over so here on my desktop as I mentioned I've got two images that I want to upload um, and I'm going to rename this one just so it's a little simpler rename and I'll just call it background um, so we'll upload both you can do both at the same time if you want um, by highlighting both okay so once they're both highlighted I'm going to click upload and they're going to transfer to your images folder. And you can see the progress down here. Some, Im some images take a little longer depending on the file size. So there they are. Okay, so now we're going to put that in our um, website. So first we'll try the background.jpg okay so take note of your url for the image in your case you'll probably see you know your website name dash wp content dash themes dash your theme name dash images okay so this is this is the important part you need to make sure that you have your url right so in my case i'm just going to grab this copy it go back to where we were for body so instead of this background color we're going to get rid of that because we want to change that to an image so we want to change that to background image semicolon url because this is where you put in the url for your image so it would be http semicolon and then this is where you're going to put in the path to your image. And don't forget to include your, file, your actual image name. So in my case, it's JPEG. Okay. So make sure that you've got your URL. Uh, and then make sure you have your quotations at the beginning and the end and your semicolon to close off the CSS so we're going to save that okay so now I'm going to need to upload the style CSS sheet again to make those changes um, on my website so I'm just now here it doesn't up update the time automatically I did just update the style CSS sheet but to get the newest version you just kind of have to re refresh the screen a little bit. So go back here. So I need to go back in. Okay, so here we go. This is the newest version. And I need to overwrite the current um, style CSS sheet on the server side. So I'm going to go back into my theme. And this is where there's my style CSS. So highlight that, upload. It's going to ask you permission to overwrite the file. Yes. Okay. So then we can go back to our site and see what it looks like. Okay. And so for some reason it's not working. So we're going to check with Firebug Y.
So it's saying fail to load the given URL. So I must have done something wrong with the, um, the image. And I did, I forgot this part here. Because I'm working off a subdomain, so mine's a little bit more complicated. In your case, it should be more straightforward, but I just forgot to add the kaleidoscope. Designstudios.com. In your case, like I said, the image URL or the path to your image should typically be your domain name slash WP content slash themes, then the name of your theme slash images and the name of your images. So now this should work. So I'm going to go back and upload that file. Okay, newest version, upload. Okay. All right, so we'll do a reload and this should work. So there's a funky retro looking background. Um, now it, it's a seamless background, so it does repeat itself by default horizontally and vertically, which is what you want for a background, okay? So this is um, one of them. So we'll see which one we like better. Now we've uploaded the other one. I'll go back into my images. Now the name of the other image is just paper.jpg. So I'll go back to my style CSS sheet. And if I wanted to, now of course you could, you could just see what it looks like in Firebug too before you make the changes. Um, so I could just go down here and, and, and change the file name just to have a quick peek before I make the, the changes in, in CSS and upload. So I'll just change that. So paper. It takes a second to load. So there's my paper background. So, you know, if I wanted to keep that, well, I'm going to change it here in my style CSS. Paper.jpg, save file. And I have to upload it again, so let's find that style. Okay, so disconnected. You have to be careful. Sometimes it disconnects after, if you don't use it for a few minutes, so you just have to reconnect it. All right, so go back to your site. And content themes, um, 2012. And this is where my style CSS sheet is. So I need to upload the newer version. Upload. And yes, I want to overwrite it. Okay, so that went through. So now if I do a refresh, I should see that it's been changed. So we're now, we now have a paper background. So that's it for using FileZilla. I mean, it's one of those things you, you have to use it and get familiar with it, but those are the basics. You know, if you need to upload images to your um, website and, and uh, your style CSS, those are two of the things I guess you do the most once you're, when you're designing your blog. So feel free to head over to my website, kaleidoscopedesignstudios.com uh, and I have um, other tutorials there that you, you may uh, enjoy reading through or watching. Thank you.